welcome back to another episode here on the Juice Footage Garage. So today we don't have a very exciting video for you guys. We're not really training wrenches in the garage, but it's going to be a video talking cars. And I wanted to talk to you guys about cars and a specific topic about cars, the bucket list cars, right? The bucket list cars is those cars that you always wanted to own, but for some reason or another, you never had the opportunity to get them, right? It's 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 your bucket list right like people have like oh the bucket list to travel the world or you know they want to do certain things before you know um, you know they run their course right and you know being car guys i know that a lot of us have bucket lists when it comes to cars like the cars that i would always want to have right and for me in particular before i get into that i just want to tell you guys fair warning this video is all talking so if you guys want to get out and run now, run now because it's going to be just me talking today, um, which is going to be today's video video will lead into tomorrow's uh, purchase. So just saying, guys, if you guys want to stick around, stick around. So some of the, the cars in my bucket list consist of I've always wanted to have an 89 IROC uh, convertible and Convertibles are cool. I, I like convertibles. I actually had a 99 Pontiac Trans Am, which was a great car. It was a heads and cam car with a 12 bolt. Uh, really great car. So I'm, I'm, I like convertibles. I'm not a convertible hater. So I've always wanted to have a 1989 Iroxy convertible because growing up as a kid, and my brother used to have one, and that car was actually supposed to be my car. It was, it was black, um, you know, really shiny black, nice top. I remember my brother had a. a a GT Grant wood grain steering wheel. It was it was just a, a fabulous car. I love the car. Um, and his was a five speed, which was even even more cool. Uh, that car was supposed to be my car, uh, but one time they tried to steal it from my brother at gunpoint. They actually shot at the car, and he then fixed the car and sold it because they wouldn't want that car was supposed to be mine. Um, we were gonna buy it off my brother, and it was gonna be my first car, but. When that happened, my mom said, no, you, you know, you can't have that car, right? It's, it's a hot car. So I never got my hands on it and I never got to own one. And as time went by and just never picked one up, they got, you know, really beat up. The market was, the market has been all over the place for IROX. And if you do find them right now, they're either all modded, uh, they don't pass mog, they're just all over the place. and they're a lot of money. And if you find one that's still like in really good shape, you're gonna pay top dollar for it. So an Iroxy is something that I've always wanted to own, um, specifically in 89, like my brother had, in black with the five speed and convertible. Bucket list car. To this day, I have not had the opportunity to have one. Um, my second bucket list car is a C5 Z06, uh, fixed roof Corvette. Those cars have a soft spot in my heart. I've always wanted to own one of those cars ever since they came out, but they've always had Corvette tax. I mean, those cars brand new were over 50 grand and they hold their value very, very well. So if you look at one today on the marketplace, you're going to be paying upwards of 20 grand for one. And some of them are even 30 grand. And I'll show you guys here. I'll log in here to my computer. So some of these C5 Corvettes are, are really out there. They're really expensive. Okay guys, so check this out. If we look here for Chevrolet Corvette on Car Gurus, right? And we search for 2000 to 2004 in a 500, 500 mile radius and we search this, right? You come up with all these cars. Even the C5s are still a lot of money, right? Look at that C5 right there, a 2004 convertible for 18 grand. So then let's let's go over here and let's fil filter this. Let's go here to just Z06 oh, manual and Z06 Corvette. There is only a handful of them in a 500 mile radius. And one is 22 grand, another one is 22.5, another one is 24.488. Well, this one is 10 grand in Arizona that's actually a really good deal guys 10 grand wow um uh, but it's in the city of arizona what's the deal oh see it's all modded Su uh, tsunami cam 
it was tuned so this car that's why it's so cheap and it probably has three owners it's probably salvage see um see salvage history reported one accident three owners that's why it's so cheap to still ten thousand dollars all right so yeah so they're pretty expensive guys and there's not that many of them they're actually really rare cars and they're really expensive and it's awesome that they're fixed roof corvettes and they're like super rare like unicorns you don't see them a lot but they're just really expensive for what you get right because for that amount of money 20 25 grand you could get a c6 uh, which i used to own a c6 a 2008 z51 car um, and that's why I bought the C6 car versus the C5 Z06 because for the same amount of money, I got more, right? I got the LS3, it just, it was just a superior car, um, for right around the same money. So this is why I haven't bought a C5 Z06, even though I love the car, I love how it looks, the aerodynamics of it, just the style of it. I, I love it so much guys. I, lo I love the fixed roof coupe, but they just been, the prices hella inflated they're rare they're hard to find and when you do find them they want a lot of money for them or you get one with the salvage title with all modded and you know here on the juice footage garage i like to make cars my own so that's my second bucket list car my third bucket list car is a fox body mustang and that may come to a surprise to a lot of you because i mostly do gms here but i actually like mustangs i like mustangs a lot i actually own two fox bodies one of them was a 1990 LX Mustang. Uh, it wasn't a notchback, it was a hatchback. And I sold that car because it was just a pile of crap, guys. Um, it, it used to leak fuel. It was just, it was, it was a pile of crap. And back in the day when I bought it, I'm talking maybe 10 years ago, uh, I didn't have like a stable job and things like that. And I just didn't have the money to fix it up. So I was forced to sell it because it wasn't reliable. It wouldn't take me to work. It was just a pile of crap. So I sold it. And then I bought a 1989 Mustang GT, which is what I wanted. A Fox body Mustang GT, right? That's one of my bucket list cars. And I bought it sight unseen. Biggest mistake ever. Never buy a car sight unseen. And my brother calls me up and he says, hey, you know, our neighbor's selling this Fox body. He has it in the backyard. It's been there for a long time. I said, oh, cool. What is it? He's like, oh, it's a GT. Dude, I want it, right? And he said, it's stick shift. And me being a stick guy, I'm like, I'll take it. How much does he want for it? And I think he said like $3,500. And I was like, dude, I'll take this. I'm talking maybe hmm, eight years ago. So I, I went and I bought the car. And naively, knowing, seeing the rust, I still bought it. I took it home. Oh my goodness. I uncovered so much rust under that car. It was insane. I don't even know how. It was a California car. It looks like they parked it in the ocean or something. And it had a lot of rust. It had electrical issues. You'll drive it and it'll start flickering and doing all kinds of stuff. Well, funny story. I decided I couldn't, I didn't have the money to fix it. So I put it up for sale. I actually sold it for a profit. I sold it for $4,500, a thousand dollar profit. And uh, the guy comes, he buys it, he picks it up because he sees opportunity and makes it, making it into a race car, which is what I wanted to do, but I just didn't have the funds for it. I sold it to this guy, we're going to we're gonna go, I give him a ride in the car. Well, he's I'm going with him to drop off the car, right? To his house because he only, he got dropped off or whatever. The car starts catching fire, guys. I cannot make this up. We're like two blocks away from my house. Smoke starts coming out of the hood. So we pull over and like the harness is on fire. The harness is on fire. So we're like, what the hell? And I was like, you know what? I don't want this car. And he had paid me for the car already. And I said, look, if you still want to take this car, I'll give you a thousand bucks back and just take it. And he's like, okay. So I gave him a thousand bucks back, sold it for 35, broke even and got myself away from this car where it was full of rust, electrical issues and God knows what else. So I was never, ne ne I never had the opportunity to pick one up that was mint in good shape, a Fox body, right? Um, other bucket list cars that I can genuinely say that I really want it, um, there isn't because those cars are like, those three is growing up as a kid to now, you know, my early teens and things like that. It's cars that I've always wanted. Um, of course, we could talk about why well, I want a McLaren and I want this other stuff, but I mean, those are 
those are exotics and things like that but uh, those three cars are definitely cars that are in my bucket list so tomorrow we're gonna go pick one up guys so be ready to see tomorrow's video after this one drops and uh, see what we pick up guys because this is gonna be a it's gonna be a cool car for the channel I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it and you guys are gonna really like it but that's my rant guys that's my story on the bucket list cars but I'm interested in seeing what makes you guys tick what are those cars that you guys always wanted to own but never had the opportunity to own uh let me know guys down in the comments you know maybe it's a barracuda maybe it's a roadrunner a dodge roadrunner you know a 66 chevelle with a 396 and a four speed or you know i don't know whatever makes you guys tick maybe a classic c10 pickup truck but uh but i'm interested in seeing what what, what you guys real car enthusiasts really want to get into one day so with that being said, guys, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because I have seen the analytics, guys. Only like 9% are subscribed who watch our videos. So all of you guys who watch those videos, create an account and, and make sure you guys subscribe because it helps out the channel a lot. So with that being said, guys, we'll see you tomorrow when we go pick up this wicked machine. Later, guys.